Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 15th, and today was a gorgeous, um, rather warm, actually sunny day, um, not what it's been last week, it definitely was way different, so got this morning, um, nothing really super quick in a hurry to get up, we got around, um, kind of hung around, took our time, went for a uh, motorcycle ride, so I haven't been on the bike in a week, so I've been in North Carolina, and basically used that um, excuse of we were going out looking for um, some yard sales. So basically chilled around out there on the bike, rode around the neighborhoods, um, went and looked at a couple houses that we're looking at. Yeah, so I don't hit you, dipshit. But there's uh, road construction guys out here that have the flag out, so I move over like half a lane to get away from the guy. And the guy's like, oh, we're supposed to be on this all road. And I'm like, yes, I see the giant trucks over there, but because you're standing on my lane, <laughs> past the white line, I thought I'd give you a little space, but some people are dumb, so it is what it is. But anyway, um, went ahead and went and did some um, run around, some yard sales. Uh, had nothing we needed, nothing we couldn't live without. Uh, drove by a couple houses we're trying to look at, uh, trying to purchase, and we have an appointment today at four, so we kind of went by, I've seen them both in the daylight. And the one is a, um, basically a six bedroom, four bath uh, duplex. So it's dual, uh, three bedroom, two bath uh, houses knocked together, two car garage each, which we're thinking possibly we could throw her dad in one side, us in the other side, and have ourselves a little bit of a, more of a separation, but still having him close to us, we can help take care of him but at the same point, still having that separation where we're not sharing a kitchen with the man. So we'll see how it actually works out. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. We're trying to get that um, chance to look at the house and it sounds like we're not gonna be able to today because I guess there's still tenants in it and whatnot. So it is what it is. So yeah, um, went ahead and basically um, got done the yard sailing, looking at all the properties, kind of just screwing around basically for no real reason. Just out having fun. Um, went ahead, said heck with it. Headed back home, um, chilled out a little while didn't have really any major plans. Um, actually, on the way back home, we swung by the, um, the Winn-Dixie, and they were madhouse packed. Like, oh my God, it was ridiculous. There was like, there was 200 people more in there than I've ever seen there since like before a hurricane. Like, it was a ridiculous amount of people in there. So I'm like, I look at Karen, I'm like, I really don't wanna be here. Like, we just spent a week on the road avoiding everybody as much as we possibly can and I really just don't want to be around all these people right now so she agreed so we basically hit back out jumped on the bike ran to Publix and it was nothing of the same found out later it was I guess like some church group is having some charity drive fundraiser thing for the pantry food pantry thing and I guess they all decided to go shopping so and invite all their friends out to shop at the same time which kind of defeats the purpose of like I know where I know it is it's what it is but yeah so um, feel free to give food and give money that I'm, that's a great thing but all of you piling it at one time and now becoming a super spreader event is definitely not worth it in my opinion so went ahead um, hit Publix up got all our groceries you needed um, everything fit in the side bags of the bike instead except the pizzas were just too big and instead of strapping them down I just threw them on my gas tank and rode them home on my lap and it worked just fine it was perfectly you know easy to do nothing real big deal at all got back to the house got thing all put away threw a pizza in the oven and basically had ourselves a pizza from home run it was an uncured un something bacon ham i don't know what the hell it was it was it was gross it was just not good at all by any means um the crust was just thick and hard to cut through and just it was yeah i was i don't know not impressed with it so went ahead and that's no longer a home run like it's a stand-up double at best but it is what it is. So we ended up uh, watching a little bit of uh, Netflix and stuff. Ended up laid down, taking a little bit of a nap. She watched, I think it's Outsider, I think it's what it's called. It's like a soap opera thing that woman travels in time and whatnot. So she chilled out that and I laid down behind her and took a nap. Um, got a call from Brian Zymel, our uh, financial um, approval. We got a pre-approval letter and I had him send us, actually I had a Hillary send one the other day and I hadn't uh, got back to them how it went. So he was hitting base uh, with me saying, you know, Hey, just wanted to check in, let you know, you know, it's the angle you need on the weekends. This is my cell number, yada, yada, whatever. It's just pretty cool because most lenders are not doing that kind of thing. So it is what it is there. So I was able to take care of all the fun that came with it. Um, finally came time to go look at the house. Um, went and looked at it, and I was ready to make an offer on it. It was in North Carolina, just in the pictures and the descriptions and stuff. And I get there, and it's just, it's just not right. Like, it literally had that feel of... Like, I don't know if you guys ever watched the movie or um, saw read the book from Stephen King called Buick 8, where there's aliens made a spaceship, kind of like a testing thing here on Earth that looks like a Buick. It's just off a little. This house looked like an amazingly well cared for house, but it was just off a little. Like, everything was like, 
there was one bedroom had nine, I think it was nine, ten, ten pieces of um, quarter round trim in the floor. It had been cut all up and stuff, different little chunks. And there was four different kinds. Like they didn't, they didn't even match. Like I'm like, what the fuck? Like how is this possible? Like they're not in the same quarter. Quarter round's a dollar a foot. Like what are you doing? Like just go buy a new quarter round. It's just so dumb. So every closet had holes ripped in it where they overloaded the shelves and ripped holes in the in the walls. Then didn't patch them. Just raised the shelf up a half inch and rebolted it back in. Now like one of them had like a one by six in there. That's like a bracket. It was just. There was, ex there was holes in every single bedroom wall. Like they uh, instead of drilling a hole to like run a cable or something, they just like took a hammer and like pushed through it. Like it's, I don't know, there's just a lot of things there. The kitchen cabinets looked amazing. Had amazing real stone countertops, dark, just beautiful, beautiful countertops. And kind of contractor grade low end particle board cabinets, like flat face, just I'm like, why would you spend, there's probably $5,000, maybe more on the stupid countertops. And there's 500 bucks in cabinets. I'm like, why would you know just uh, you're way better off spending five grand on cabinets and cheaper countertops and having a match so it kind of looks i don't know it just didn't didn't feel right everything about it was wrong and i'm so glad we didn't make an offer we would just revoked our offer our 10 day inspection period our 15 day whatever we would have given them it was because it was just not what it was but everything about it seemed great it has tile in the garage it was just yeah the tile has like a warp in it like you can literally bounce up and down on the ceramic tile it's just like a big hump in there like there's a giant anaconda growing crawling through there underneath the floor it's just it's weird and there wasn't a single tree in the backyard the backyard's nice size and stuff and there's sheds there's like three sheds there they're all three in bad shape and just the back patio has this weird mexican tile there was 10 11, 11 different types of tile in that house between the garage and the bathrooms and the kitchens and the wood laminate flooring in the back patio was just there was 11 different kinds of flooring in the house and like the weird transitions where they met it says me like a straight line they put like an angle like i don't know it's just cattywampus it was really poorly done it was i have no idea what they were thinking so everything was just that filthy like it was just that dirt and like half of the outlet switch covers were broke i'm like go spend 49 cents or where the hell you are at the store and buy new covers i just everything had that weird like oily like almost like the house was smoked in kind of thing or it has like that residue on top like that goldish moldy looking gross ass dusty residue thing it was just so gross so definitely did not uh, make an offer on that we were i i was kind of in the house like it looked nice and from the road it presents amazing it's got a great patio in the front entryway and stuff it's absolutely gorgeous in the front but it's not um not in the cards for us so went ahead and said hell with it got back home um chilled out a little bit there and stuff and i really wasn't feeling like i wanted dinner the pizza kind of set heavy on me so i basically just kind of chilled out a little bit we chatted and stuff um hung around the house just not much but a little bit i ended up heading on the patio just chilled out had myself a couple cigars um she came out and watched uh, a little bit of netflix actually hulu or prime i was watching but watched some shows out there with me and stuff um she headed back inside to get all cleaned up and get ready for work tomorrow which she's it's been gone for a while, so she's kind of excited about it. And also, I think a little bit fearful of what kind of mess she's coming back into. That could be a interesting, you know, concept of what got messed up while she was gone and just the whole thing. So, because she was in the process of changing jobs again at the same company, changing jobs again now. Um, and so then she has the week gone. Is yeah. So we'll see how it went. Um, should be good. There's already one lady down. The plus Karen being gone with vacation. It should be a fun. Um, yeah. That'd be fun. So went ahead, uh, wrapped it up, headed inside, and basically called it a night. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.